It's a beautiful, cold, overcast morning here in Washington State, and as LGR would say, let's go thrifting. Nerd Lair. What's up guys, Sean from the Nerd Lair here. Thanks for tuning into this video. I wanted to take you guys on a journey today to my thrift store route where uh, I'm gonna show you all of the locations that I go to um, when I'm searching for video games for my collection. I think it'll be a fun little uh, video showing you guys uh, what I go through. Uh, sometimes I don't find anything. Sometimes I find stuff at every single location. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go out. Uh, I'm gonna film uh, in public. Ugh. The first stop on my thrift store route is to Value Village, uh, also known as Savers in other parts of the country. This one is in an uppity neighborhood. Uh, there's usually a lot of good stuff here. Um, typically, I'm only looking for video games uh, when I go do this route. And the first place I check is the case because it's where all the expensive stuff is. And I already have all these. Hmm. I see The Sims on the DS and DDR on the PS2. Have them. Here is the actual game rack, and it looks like we got a lot of pretty decent stuff here. A couple things I don't have. I thought I had Oblivion, but I guess I don't. And we also have Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles, which is actually a pretty good game. And I also see something I don't have, Dante's Inferno on the PS3. I am definitely picking that up. And uh, for some reason, they have a bong in the electronics section. Uh, no, I, I, I don't need it. No. Okay, so that was that was really weird uh, when I was going to check out. I guess they're implementing some new self-checkout uh, machines, and I was the first one to do it at the store, and all of the employees were like huddled around me as I was like scanning my games, and it was really awkward. Uh, but that wasn't too bad. I got three games that I did not have. Uh, surprisingly, I thought I had Oblivion, but apparently I only have it on PC, so now I have it on 360. All right, let's go to the next thrift store location. The next stop is another value village and this one I used to come to a lot because at one point in time I lived about a mile away from here so uh, I would be in here every other day just kind of browsing and seeing what I would find but the first place I always check is the case because expensive stuff and hey look a bunch of stuff that I do not want or already own. And would you look at that, Firefly action figures, but I already own them. So I'm just going to make my way to the media section. I know exactly where I'm going because I've been here a million times. And uh, the first thing I see is Fable, the Lost Chapters on the PC, which I already own. And uh, what do we got here? A PS3 game, LA Noir. I have not played that, but I don't care to play it. And look at that, Oblivion is following me, man. And we have the usual 360 titles that we always see in thrift stores and, oh, Ratchet and Clank on the PS2, which I oddly enough do not own. And I also found this Sony Handycam that I didn't buy, but I always like seeing these things. I don't know, I like old video cameras. On to the next thrift store. Our next stop on the thrift store route is Goodwill, and this one usually doesn't have anything really, but I always like to check it just in case, and the first thing that I see is Star Wars Jedi Starfighter on the Xbox, and uh, I couldn't remember if I already owned this or not. Sadly, I did not, but I didn't get it. And uh, what do we got here? Call of Duty World at War, classic. And over in the movie section, Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, I'm gonna get these. And just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go check out the electronics, because why not? And the first thing that I see is a sad stack of Wii Fits, and on top is a keytar from Rock Band. Uh, okay, I need to uh, leave and go refuel. I mean, you know what it is, your boy gotta recharge with some Jamba J. I got me white gummy flavor. Alright, so, got my Jamba Juice. Now, we're gonna go to the next thrift store. I figure I'll do some car video footage too, just to pad out the, the runtime of the video. Why not? Never know what I might say. Probably not a whole lot. It is 12.30 p.m. approximately, and we are going to our next thrift store, which is a St. Vincent de Paul. I don't know if any of you know what that is, but it's a thrift store chain uh, that is in Washington, at least. Ah yes, St. Vincent de Paul. This location is kind of tucked away on a back road, so not a whole lot of people come here. And I found some good stuff here, but today, eh, it's looking kind of sparse. Bunch of stuff I don't want or don't need. Um, yeah, wow, Brain Age, haven't seen that in a while. Uh, yeah, 
bunch of garbage, nothing, but there is a transparent red PS2 controller, and I did find some more games like Blood Wake on the media shelf. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's another one right here. Is this one in better cond Nope, nope, nope. All right, so I picked up Blood Wake uh, for the original Xbox. Uh, I think that was a launch title even. Probably paid a little bit too much for it. It was like, I mean, $3.99. Uh, the sticker said $4.99, but it rang up as $3.99. So I'll take it as a win. It's funny, uh, this Value Village, uh, just as a side note, is right next to a gas station that was owned or is still owned by a man who uh, I worked for for a little bit, um, and I, I got a better job uh, offer uh, closer to where I lived at the time. And I, you know, I just quit. You know, like, hey, I'm I'm not coming back. I found a better job. Yada yada. He understood, but a day later, he tried to accuse me of stealing his iPhone, and I promptly told him that I am an Android user and I would not waste my time stealing an iPhone. And this place is fucking packed too. God damn. I don't know, is it thrift store Thursday? Is that a thing? It should be a thing. Maybe I'll start doing that. Thrift store Thursday here in the nerd lair. Every Thursday or every third Thursday. All right, I'm here. There's people outside. Value Village location number three. Let's do this. This is the Value Village where I found the 399 Suikoden 2 on the PS1. So I'm hoping that I can find something of that rarity again, but I probably won't. And this caught my eye. I thought it was an NES game. It's like a card game. Boss monster. Yeah, whatever. And let's go to the media section here. And the first thing I see is a bunch of garbage and uh, what? Uh, oblivion. Oblivion, are you stalking me? And we have some shitty sports games and the Incredible Hulk on the Wii, which is all right, but I don't want it or need it. Ah, oh, this game brings me back. This was my first PS2 game, even though this is on PC. Whew, yeah, there was uh, nothing in there, unfortunately. Um, and there was a lot of people in there. That was about it. Uh, so we're gonna go to, I believe, maybe one more before I head back home. Uh, so yeah, let's get going. So I am pulling into the last thrift store of my route. There was another one that I did not film because it is currently closed. Oh, and there's a dipshit double parks. Uh, this one is a Goodwill and it typically doesn't have a whole lot, uh, but it never hurts to check it out just in case. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in. Looks like there's a lot of people here too. Yay! This Goodwill is very hot and cold. Sometimes they have good stuff, sometimes they have nothing. Usually they have nothing, but let's go into the media section and have a gander. Any good games? No. No. Yeah, this one always is. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Do they even make Kinects anymore? <laughs> I think they dropped that with the, uh, yeah. with the Xbox One. Yeah. I do not see anything. Got it. Yeah. Damn. Oh well. Never hurts to check. I saw a few interesting things in the electronics, but what caught my eye was this black Wii that was just sitting there, discarded for ten dollars, and it has the GameCube controller ports. Yeah, I'm getting this. Just goes to show you, you never know what you're gonna find. This was a ten dollar black Wii with the GameCube controller ports and the little um, door still attached, which is really rare. Uh, so I don't know if this thing works. It was $10. Um, I'm gonna go home and test it. And uh, that was the last stop of the thrift store route. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home now. Do 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 do. And we are home. Okay, so here's everything that I got. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick overview. Ratchet and Clank on the PS2, Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles on PS2, Oblivion on 360, Call of Duty World at War on 360, Dante's Inferno, Divine Edition on PS3, Blood Wake on the original Xbox, and Call of Duty Black Ops on 360, along with a black Wii uh, that doesn't have any cables or controllers. Uh, but it does have uh, controller ports for the GameCube, um, and this was $10. So 
all of this uh, together after tax came to 4161 and I did a rough uh, guesstimate on eBay looking at all of these prices and the average prices, I'm going on the low end of the spectrum for these, uh, all of this came out to about $119 if I were to buy them on eBay. And again, that's a low ball estimate. Um, it could go for more, it could go for less. That's just the general um, price that I got after adding all these up on eBay. And if you guys didn't know, about 65% of my collection I found at thrift stores by doing exactly what I showed you in the video. Even though I definitely made a profit on these, I'm not going to sell any of them as I never sell any of the games that are in my collection, unless I have doubles and even then, it's still like meh, might as well just keep them. But before I end the video, I'm gonna test out this Wii, make sure everything works. I already dusted everything with uh, canned air and stuff like that, so it uh, should be pretty good to go. So I plugged the console in, everything looks good so far. We got the red light for the power. Um, just give it a press and see what it does. And uh, yeah, it sounds like there's a game in there. Let's hit the eject button. Ah, a free Wii Sports Resort, which I'm probably never gonna play, but hell, it's free. Um, so I'm gonna put in uh, Sin and Punishment, and uh, let's see if this uh, just starts up. I'm pretty sure it will. The Wii never really had any sort of problem uh, like the Xbox or PS3 did. So, um, oh yeah, works really good. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Ten bucks, you guys. Oh god, the Wii sounds. Can you hear that? That sounds painful. Wow. Oh, it's working though. It's working. Load. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, nice and smooth. Cool. And that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this little journey through my uh, thrift store route, so to speak. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel because I might be doing videos like this more often. Uh, but if I don't, I make plenty of other videos every week so there's always something to watch. Be sure to follow me on social media as well. Links are down below in the video description. I'm on Instagram the most, so if you wanna contact me uh, when I'm not making videos or see what I'm up to, that's where you can find out. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in and I will see you guys next time in the nerd lair.